The views and opinions expressed in this podcast do not necessarily reflect those of any major corporation whatsoever. Well then, my little whittle fluffy bunny wunny, it is homework time once again on the Popon Film Podcast. Yes. <clears throat> People of the internet, your attention please. Stop fidgeting your spinners and kindly pay attention! Yes. That also works on two levels, both literal fidget spinners and also an analogy for jacking off to internet porn. <laughs> this uh, each week, the Pope on Film podcast assigns homework in the hopes of bettering its listeners, nay, the galaxy. Give me yes. some dramatic music, Bunny. Dun, 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 dun. That's good. That's good. And this week, kids, we are doing something a little bit different, okay? Now, girls, girls, kindly pay attention. Okay. Okay. Now, will all the boys in class please stand up? You will be following Coach Adams into the gym while the girls <laughs> stay here. Now, boys, stop your giggling. This is serious, okay? <laughs> now, we have something very special for you today, okay, kids? We will be watching... These special videos created by the Inglewood Police Department to warn you young people, young people like you, about the evil and sinister and some third thing, mm -hmm. the evil plans of, pause for dramatic effect, gay people. Yep. Da da da. Yes, this week it's two 1961 educational videos, educational with finger quotes, Boys Beware, and the equally important feminine companion, Girls Beware. Yes. Bella is pretty looking at me from across the room with a judgmental face. Bella, you need to watch this video. It's from 1961, and it's called Girls Beware. And hey... If you ever let an older boy talk to you, mm -hmm. you will immediately get pregnant and die. Yes. That is what I learned two days ago. Also, if you ever see a guy with a bow tie and a mustache, he will try and kill you. Mm hmm. They are he both they are both on the YouTube uh, yeah. in the homework section. Uh, but yes. you can also watch the Bob version of either one of these. Yay! I knew you did Boys Beware, but I'm not sure if you did Girls Beware. I'm almost positive. Okay. Um, uh, I, uh, I was talking to Amber about these videos, and Amber had a question for you. Yes. Did you ever have to see any of these? No. Like in school? No, I, I don't ever remember being separated and shown any film in like gym or anything okay. like that. All right. Um, I remember being shown a lot of educational videos. I don't remember ever seeing this specific one, but right. I watched a crap ton. I had a fifth grade teacher, Mrs. Buckner, Mrs. Buckner. And she was so old. She was like, I think, in her early 70s, I believe, when she was a teacher. Yeah. And she would always, you know, get the old, like, 8 millimeter out and, and pull down the projector and show these incredibly old videos, these old educational videos, like, uh, like, like um, Mystery Science Theater short level uh freaking educational videos yeah also i'm upset that an entire season of mystery science theater came and went without a single short i figured they had to do one short <laughs> but they didn't do a short yeah with this new season i'm a bit upset about that anyway uh, um, that just reminds me though um in seventh grade, seventh grade social studies was supposed to be all about New York, 
you you learned everything about New York in seventh grade because I was in New York. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Probably different in other areas. And yeah. then eighth grade, I, I forget what it was actually called, but they showed a fuckload of movies and like good movies, you know? Um, like, like what? Um, anything possibly related. So we had seen uh, The Candidate with Robert Redford. Uh, wow. The Ugly American with Marlon Brando. Um, huh. And a lot of other movies like that. Okay? Interesting. So my seventh grade teacher was not really into teaching. He was old and can like, get away with it, you know? Yeah. So we would have to draw like a map of New York. And then he would take us over into the next room and we'd watch the movie with the eighth grade. Nice. Nice. Yeah, so I had I had two good school years when it came to social studies. Yeah. Well, Mrs. Buckner would constantly, like, every day she would show at least one educational video. Most times she would show two or maybe three educational videos. Sometimes she would line them up back to back to back. And what we all learned in her class was that she was so old that she would sometimes take these little naps in the back of the room on her comfy couch yeah, while she played us the educational video. And so what we all sort of agreed to without ever actually discussing it was when the movie is over, if she's still sleeping, let's see how long we can keep this up. Yes. So we would literally, the movie would be over and everybody would in class would just be shh, 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 shh. Miss Buckner's still sleeping. Let's see how long we can keep her asleep. And we would just do whatever we wanted in silence and see how long we could get away with it. One time we went almost 45 minutes. Nice. Past the educational video with her still sleeping in the back. <laughs> So, boys beware and girls beware. The, the story behind these is, is kind of interesting. So, backstory. Sid Davis. Such a white name. Yes. Sid Davis. You hear the name Sid Davis. You can already picture this guy. Sid Davis was born How in... How you Chicago. doing? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Sid Davis here. <laughs> yeah. At one point in time, he sold encyclopedias, uh, without a doubt. Yes. Sid Davis, at one point in time, sold encyclopedias. So he was born in 1916 in Chicago. Interesting fact, back in 1916, Chicago was actually not a frightening hellhole. <laughs> so, uh, interesting. Interesting. Back then, it was like, Chicago, city on the go. Yeah. So, Sid Davis grew up, and he hopped randomly through Hollywood, a very small part here, an extra here. The main uh, bit of his life uh, came when he started to be a stand-in. Apparently, he was really tall and burly, yeah. and so he became a stand-in. And if you want to know how serious of a stand-in he was, get this. All right. He was a stand-in for the Leif Erikson. <gasps> Holy shit. The Leif Erikson, guys. Yes. The Leif Erikson. He was also a stand-in for John Wayne, but nobody gives a shit about that. <laughs> so... Bella, you need to do dishes. So, in 1949, a six-year-old girl was uh, raped and killed. And it made front-page news all over America. And Sid Davis was really, like, hurt by this. And the thing, the thing that got him was, how come this six-year-old didn't properly learn about the dangers of talking to strangers? Yeah. Gee, someone should do something about that. 
like maybe I don't know, make an educational video. Mm-hmm. So John Wayne in his John Wayne voice is like, "I'm John Wayne, and I hate the coloreds." <laughs> I'm assuming that's what he said. Yeah. Um, John Wayne, I hate black people, pilgrim. So he gives Sid Davis. An American his- institution. Yeah, yeah, he's a hero. So he gives a generous amount of money to Mr. Uh, to Mr. Um, Sid Davis. Yeah. To, to Mr. Sid Davis. It, it was a thousand dollars, but back then it was basically like ten thousand dollars. Yeah. So with a generous donation from Mr. Frickin' John Wayne, Sid Davis makes his first educational film, which was called Dangerous Stranger. Ooh. The crazy thing is, this man made so many educational videos. He doesn't know how many he made. He lost count. Oh, my God. He made well over 150, possibly as much as 200. Some people say more than 200. Boring ass and occasionally incendiary, quote unquote, educational films. (laughs) He was he was known. Sid Davis was known what do you want, Eleanor? What do you want? What do you want? I don't know what you are grabbing for. Do you want this? Here you go. Have fun with that. Get Bella to turn it on. Get Bella to turn it on. Show it to Bella. Show it to Bella. There you go. Oh, my God, that worked. <laughs> so, so Sid Davis were, was known for tackling the topics that other educational film companies wouldn't touch, like, yes. I don't know, uh, Davis Films or uh, Britannica, whatever that one is, or uh, like uh, Royal Crown, like Regent Films, whatever. So, so there's like three famous educational films. Posture Perfect, Stealing <laughs> is Bad, and The Dangers of Date Rape. One of those was made by Sid Davis. <laughs> if you follow me there. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, it, it, it's surprising that he made so many educational films and only one of them was touched by any one of the guys. But out of all of the movies that he made, only one of his films, The ABCs of Walking Wisely, was yeah. covered riff tracks so riff tracks did one riff tracks did one sid davis movie so these these are pedigreed yeah yes yeah so sid davis he died and and this is this blew my mind too because he was born in 1916 dude died in 2006 wow this guy this guy he freaking lived yeah. So he lived a long life. Um, so anyway, in 1961, Sid Davis teams up with the Inglewood School District and the Inglewood Police Department to scare people away from homosexuality, literally, with Boys Beware and the so-called companion. Oh, is that what you want? You want the chips. Okay, well, back out. Back up. Eleanor, you're you're in my Eleanor, come over here. Come over here. Come over here. You're in my booth. You're in my booth. Okay. Now I can get back in the booth. If you want a chip, there you go. Here. There there are chips. Have fun with those chips. So um the the companion girls beware isn't about lesbianism. It's more about how basically all women are weak and easily attackable. Yes. It sucks, and it's not as um, exciting as Boys Beware, and that sucks. I would have loved to have seen. I was hoping that Girls Beware would basically be kind of like the same thing, but for girls. Like, girls, beware of the dangers of the American dyke. (laughs) That's what I was hoping for, you know? Mm -hmm. So this is what I'm thinking. An all-girls reboot of Boys Beware, Ghostbuster style. Nice. 
You can tell the lesbian by the Birkenstocks and Rachel Maddow haircuts. <laughs> <laughs> Little Susie didn't notice the telltale signs, the lack of shaving, the, um, uh, uh, Annie DeFranco music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what, so that's what I'm working on. I'm working on a big budget reboot. I think that's a great idea. I think that would be a yep. massive hit. Yep. Uh, what it, time is it, it? It'll need some up tunes. Yeah. Eleanor, you want some more? Here. Take these. But, okay, go over there. There you go. Okay. Boys beware, the meteor of the two. I learned a lot yes. from this video. First off, if you ever decide to hitchhike, boom. You're gay rape bait now. That's right. You immediately become rape bait. Right off the bat. Because gay men all have mustaches and bow ties and cruise parks for little boys. And wear Bitch, sunglasses. Please. Bitch, please. This video doesn't even mention Grinder or Craigslist at all. <laughs> <laughs> this video was literally shown in schools to scare boys away from homosexuality, which they repeatedly call a sickness. Yes. And this they were, and they were not even, they were not even discussing homosexuality. They were discussing pedophilia. Yeah. There's a big well, like, freaking it, difference. Yeah. Excuse me. That's not a homosexual problem. That's a Bible problem. Yeah. That's a Catholicism issue there. Well, the Bible does not forbid it. It's also a Mormonism problem if my um, Pornhub feed is to be believed. <laughs> because the les because the, the the Mormon porn that that we covered in a previous homework, they do both straight and gay videos both in a uh -huh. female side and in a male side apparently there's a lot of touchy-feely uh, uh, Mormon elders out there <laughs> yeah. Mormon elders are like the pizza delivery or plumber guys in the Mormon porn world go figure yeah <laughs> So the video, Boys Beware, has different stories. The first one is the generous old sugar daddy gay. Yeah. I need to get me one of those. Who cause... was who was one of the stars of our show? Him and that kid. Yeah. Yeah. And then like and then like the guy was put in jail and and the kid was was um Put in the custody of his parents because the kid who was raped is to blame as well. Yes, he uh, he he was given probation. Yeah, probation. Yeah. Y your 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 whole movie, your whole educational movie, is about how this kid was seduced and raped by a pedophile. And you give him probation? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that Good crazy? God. Yeah. But hey, at least he got to like go to the park and stuff, so that's nice. Yes. Yes. At least he was shown a good day, you know? And and girls beware had that, that very same sick ending. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Because she should have known better. And here yeah. are the reasons why she should have known better. But no, she she went out on a date with with an older man and got raped. Yeah. So she had to go basically to a re education camp or some shit. <laughs> yeah. 
Aw, thank you for the hug, Eleanor, but I know that this is some sort of a trap. What do you want? Um, I've been working very hard over the past six months to get Eleanor to start saying lucha. Yeah. And I've been trying over and over again. Lucha, lucha, lucha. Now, she started saying, she started saying, like, what does she say? She says, like, lucha. Bucha, bucha, and putting her hand up, you know, chanting like she's a believer in the temple. Yeah. But then Natasha keeps shaming me. She keeps lucha shaming me because she's like, oh, great, you got her to say lucha, but not emerald. <laughs> Which she can't say because it's complicated. I just learned how to say emerald like five weeks ago. But what if you said it the same way? That's what I've okay. been trying to do. I've what been trying said, to say emerald, emerald, emerald. But still, that you but, know. Wait, 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 wait. But you specifically only do it when emerald walks in the room. Well, see, no, that wouldn't work because she always stays in her room. Well, she could be in her room, too, as long as you all crowd around oh. her door. Okay, that's a possibility. Okay, yeah. cuz cuz you can you can please your wife by teaching the baby the name of your eldest and annoy the living fuck out of your eldest. Okay. Um I, now you're talking crazy cuz I know that there's no pleasing a wife. <laughs> <laughs> now we're just talking sci-fi fantasy mumbo jumbo nonsense. <laughs> Just to be clear. <laughs> so the second um, is the violent gay riding in the shadows of death. Yeah. Gays kill kids. Interesting fact. Um, the narrator of this film. Uh-huh. Uh, 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 uh. The, the narrator was pretty awesome. So was the musical score. Uh, no, excuse me. We need to back up here and focus on this some more. The narrator is Timothy Farrell. Okay. The same guy narrated Jailbait and Glenn or Glenda. Oh, nice. So there's a great Edward connection here. It's the <laughs> same dude. It's the same boring, boring voiced dude. Nice. Seriously, Bella, she had your ring. You're easily chokeable on ring. You need to be more careful with your stuff. This baby is trying to destroy everything we love. <laughs> you got to be aware of that. That Whatever means you, you like, go away from the baby. That means you have to go get King Kong to fight her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. So then there's the boy who tries to take a shortcut under a pier and almost gets killed. Yes. By an apparent horror movie gay. Mm -hmm. I think the third gay is basically like the the Jason of gays. The <laughs> Jason of gays, yeah. Yeah, just waiting for some young boy to mess up, and then there he is, coming from the woods. Well, that's that's it. You know, if if your friend from the bookstore suddenly realized he liked cock. That would most likely fry his brain. He would have to start killing people. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. And that was the depiction of gays that we had in your more serious television shows. Yeah. You know? <clears throat> and it would be frightening. Thank you, Eleanor. The, um, the thing that I liked about the film is that, wow, no expense was spared for this film. Man, this is such an expensive film. Oh, look, the uh, gay rapist seems to be driving the same make and model of car as the detective in the beginning of the film. <laughs> I'm sure that was a uh, conscious decision by the director to showcase the duality in, of man and mm -hmm. not something they had to do because they had no money. Well, it was, it was also symbolic of showing that you really can't trust anybody. 
homosexuals are among us. Yeah. And even if you are a detective in the police force, Englewood, you cannot assume that he's not one of them. Yeah. You know, therefore giving you that imagery, imagery connection between the detective and, and the, the pedophile rapist. Yeah. So girls beware. Not as inflammatory and therefore not as fun. I have a lot less stuff about this one. Yeah. Basically, if you're not a pure flower, you'll get pregnant, then get an STD, then you'll get gang raped, and then you'll be killed. Yes. Basically, everything your grandmother warned you about happens here. <laughs> Susie was happily talking to the two older boys. Five minutes later, they were Chinese finger trapping her in the alley behind the Tasty Freeze. <laughs> mm-hmm. And essentially, that's the entire movie. It yeah. comes down to immorality. The Christianity nature of it is implied. But basically, you need to be pure, otherwise you'll die. And yeah. that's being a woman in the 60s. Yes. I, I did rather appreciate the line of, how did it start, though? Uh, I appreciated the line that there are, there are many older gentlemen like him. Who are unable to compete with their within their own age group. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I worked with a manager like that in California. Sick that burn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I believe that is it for homework this week. Do you have anything more? I, I think we've covered this well. I well, 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 little Susie or whoever she was, right. She it was all all her fault because she should have known <laughs> that this guy was a rapist. That was basically the whole point of this film. Yeah. You know, yeah. so shame on you, little Susie. And she had to, she had to go to some kind of, she had to go, like go away to counseling or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. No, all her fault. What, all her the, fault. what the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah. Re-education camp. This, when they say make America great, this is part of what they're fucking talking about. What's wrong with you people? (laughs) Yeah. Fucking ridiculous. Oh, man. So, yes, I think think that's that's it. That's more than enough. Anyway, that is it for homework this week. And I honestly and sincerely hope that your hearts, minds, and tiny paper cuts have all been suitably opened. And for next week, we are going to be watching a Netflix original series. Hey, that sounds fun. This This won't be painful at all. It's Netflix. There's nothing bad about Netflix. It's Netflix. Okay. This is going to be fun. Anyway, Bunny, I'm sorry about this. I'm not. Uh, Okay, hold on a second. Put this on pause, all right? Okay. Okay, gang. Eleanor spilled water everywhere. So, because her water bottle sucks ass. So, just to be clear, there's water everywhere. Okay. All right. Eleanor's water bottle sucks. Okay. Now, picture yourself in a room with ten of those. Just saying. We bought her this big, expensive water bottle, and it's really nice, and she loves it, and if you turn it upside down, it spills everywhere. So what's the freaking point of this expensive-ass water bottle? (laughs) Makes no goddamn sense. I hate this water bottle, and she loves it. (laughs) (sighs) Okay. Okay.
Okay, well, just I'm just glad that she's okay because we didn't know what was going on. We just heard baby crying really hard and then just pause it, pause it, and okay, we're going. Oh, I hope she. She slipped it. and fell and hurt herself, and I I picked her up and I cuddled her and I wiped off all, all the water on her, and I told her really nicely and kindly that this was all her fucking fault because she knows that her water bottle spills water. And she was so excited to be spilling the water all over the floor. <laughs> and I'm like, here, let me wipe you off. I'm sorry, Eleanor. This is your fucking fault, though. You did this to you. And I hope <laughs> you know that. It's nobody's fault but your own. That's a Led Zeppelin song. <laughs> so, Bonnie, um, <laughs> Bella is way too excited about this. Um, Netflix is creating a lot of original content and here's the thing most of it is unknown to the majority of the population sure they're doing Defenders and Fuller House but for every big named creation they make they are secretly creating 10 other shows that you may never hear about Okay. Did you know Netflix has been hard at work for a long ass time creating anime? No. Yeah. Yeah. There's uh the Seven Deadly Sins. Did you watch that, Bella? Yes, it was yeah. good. You liked that. that was and there's another one. And that's what we will be watching next week. Next week we will be watching the first two episodes. <laughs> Bella says three, but no. The first three. two Shut up. <laughs> of the Netflix anime Glitter Force. Okay. Now there are two different types of glitter uh, of Glitter Force TV show. There's Glitter Force and then there's Glitter Force. What's the other one called? Glitter Force Doki Doki. Glitter Force Doki Doki. We will not be watching Glitter Force Doki Doki, Doki I believe. Doki That's some Doki. sort of like sequel, but we're watching the original Glitter Force, the first two episodes. Let me try and explain yes. this to you. It's like if Sailor Moon fucked my little pony. Wait. Or here's the one. Here's the one that really pissed off Bella. It's like if a guy from Jersey made Voltron for girls. I hate you. <laughs> like, 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 like. It's just some guy looked at Voltron and said, "You know what? We need one of these, but for chicks." So this is what you do. You get all these chicks. You put them in these nice outfits. You give them colors and I don't know makeup, and then there you go. You got a you got a Voltron for chicks. That's what <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. We're making chick Voltron. Yes. You don't compare the crappy TV show to Voltron. I'm talking about the original Voltron. You know nothing of the original Voltron. You just know the again the Netflix anime reboot of Voltron. I watched the original. I don't care either one. Doesn't matter. You don't compare crappy TV show to Voltron. Oh, Glitter Force. Like, that was I, almost frightening. I'm trying to think of things that she really likes. You know, Glitter Force reminds me of Pokemon. Yeah. No, I got nothing. I got nothing. I was just trying to <laughs> piss off Bella. I hate you so much. Hey, Bella, I love you, okay? Okay? I love you. I love you very much. You shouldn't say screw you to your dad because that's not respectful. You need to be respectful. You need to be biblical. You need to be honorable. You need to follow the Bible and follow Jesus. And while we're on the subject. Yes. Let me say something about Harry Potter. (laughs) Warlocks are enemies of God. (laughs) glitter force bunny glitter force the first two episodes okay okay that's gonna (laughs) hurt this could this this could easily be considered massively sexist if it didn't suck so much i i'm i'm sort of imagining that that 
unicorn that used to poop cones that yeah. was all over Facebook for a while. Yeah. I'm I'm kind of imagining two episodes of that. Yeah. Oh no, no, this is this is yeah, no, this is gonna be bad. So this might hurt. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is gonna be exciting. <laughs> this is gonna be very exciting. I'm gonna watch you. So yeah, no, it's going to be great. So that is next week for homework. The first two episodes of Glitter Force, the Netflix original anime. It's going to be very exciting. We're going to get our, our we're going to be get our girly on basically. Okay. So that is next week. We hope you will join us next week for more homework with the Popon Film Podcast. <laughs> Thank you.